and my newest journal with you all. Um, that little intro that you've probably just heard was from um, a very, very favourite song of mine called uh, Starman David Bowie. And I'm sure most of you, well, certain, um, some of us of a certain age will remember that song. Um, and it's a flashback to songs that I loved when I was young. And I've got the idea for this journal from April from Pink Odd Bird. She'd done a series um, called Songs from the Vault where she interpreted um, a favourite song of hers and done it into a journal. And I just so loved that idea. I did do one last year and I thought it's time to do another one again. So this is my Starman journal. Now you might have to bear with me today because you know how bad I am at filming and fiddling about. I've got a new set up. I've come upstairs to my craft room um, and I've got my tripod and everything set up. But for some reason, tripod, the only way I can sort of fiddle it and get my seat under it and everything, I'm sort of banging my arm against it. So until, and I need to hire it somehow, but I can't do it, it's stiff or something. So I'll have to wait till my other half gets in and shows me what I'm doing. So as it is, so if it's all over the place today, sorry about that. Right, the journal is, um, see, I'm already struggling with my arm. Um, it's, I think it measures eight and a quarter times five and a quarter. It has 64 pages front to back. And the concept of this journal is, as it's called, a star man. And the idea I had that the star man was looking down on earth and looking through his part of the world and he could see earth below. Um, and it's also a line from another David Bowie song, sort of planet earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. But that's totally another song. But this is the star man and this is his part of the world. So in his part of the world, it's totally normal to have blue mushrooms and blue flowers and things. So that's what the cover is. This is the star man peering down at us. Um, it's a hardback cover. Um, I've done some um, distressing and some put some gilding wax on it. Um, put some stars on it. As I've said, he's got um, some blue mushrooms. Um, it's a simple, uh, what do you call it, seam bind enclosure. I think I said it's got 64 pages. Am I in frame? Yeah, I think I am. At right, the beginning of it, I've put um, a little side pocket here. Um, it's got a little journaling card in. And there's this um, an opening lyric of the song. There's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. So that's words and lyrics by David Bowie. And here is just a pocket I've made out of um, Tyvek. Um, and I've just heated it. I painted it, heated it up so it, until it bubbled. And I've always, I have love this effect. I just think it's really nice for using his pockets. And it's very durable as well. Um, I have used a kit in this. And I'm sorry, I can't think for the life of me what it's called. Um, but I will put the link below in the description when I find out what it is. It, I just thought it went very well with the journal it's all sort of galaxy moon stars and that's basically what the journal is sort of more of a galaxy sort of moon sort of journal some um plain writing paper um i've just put some of this little um what you call it really? it's like a gold lurex eh? some tabs um i thought the lighting might be better in this room upstairs because the room itself is all white um and it's facing a window so i'm presuming i'll get a bit more natural lighting but it's currently snowing here in the uk at the moment so the sky is quite gray and i've got all my lights and lamps on and it's still not brilliant so if it's i will apologize in advance if um if it's very dark to see here i've just put like a little um tuck spot one of these um pages from the kit it's like a lovely galaxy with stars i've left all the threads hanging because i sort of quite like that a couple of journaling cards in um actually i think this one is from um my porch prints so i think that's part of the i want to say woodland walk journaling kit um on the, some of these i've done um a little bit of um embossing which i've just gone over with some um 
distress inks and gilding wax. Um, another Tyvek pocket. I have just listed this journal in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested. Uh, it's got a borehole bead on. I put several borehole beads. Let's see if you can see. Um, several borehole beads throughout the journal. Oh, it's absolutely freezing here today, but not complaining. I do like it. I've said before, I love snow and I'm getting out walking in it this morning. While it's still sort of nice and fresh and I'm off work, so I may as well make the most of the day. Here I've just done another little um, mixed media sort of mushroom where I've just collaged some, um, I think those were end spaces with the column off beads. Uh, a little bit of cheesecloth, which I've distressed. Another tab. Some more right. There is plenty of writing space in this, even though it looks very dark and um, not grungy, but I just think it might come across as very dark. But there is a lot of, once you take all the um, cards and everything out, there's quite a lot of space in it left to journal. Love this lady holding the moon. So she went in it. Some tea dyed paper. Centre of, oh, it's got two signatures. And this is the centre of the first, which was like just all stars on blue paper. Uh, another little um, boho bead with a little journaling card. It says silver stars. Ooh, not sure if I'm in frame here. I'll soon tell. I love this page. Um, it's just got like trees, um, a, a bit of a moon on and some script on it. This um, I cut off. I got a, I bought a cushion not long ago and it was very boho sort of Indian style. And I've just cut a lot. There was a lot of this gold metallic stuff on it. So I've just cut all that off it. Um, and I've used it throughout the journal. This I definitely know is my porch prints. It's the Woodland Winter. I might, I'll also link that one as well. Sorry for not, I never know what I'm using. Another one of these um sort of star, what do you call them? There is a name for it, but it's not coming, so I'm not struggling to find it. Love these pages as well. Like I said, there is plenty of paper spaces for writing. Um. And it might seem a little bit bulky because I was worrying it was getting very bulky, but there's quite a lot you can take out of it and it just sort of brings it back. Um, this lady had to go in. It's one of the Moocha images, but she stood in front of the moon and I like it and she was blue. So I thought she went in perfectly. I don't know what the weather's like everywhere else across the world. Um, we're having quite a cold winter here in the UK for it makes a change um with a lot a lot of snow over the weekend so that's always good a couple more um little journaling cards one of these i've embossed and they're all um back with tea stain paper just ran that through my embossing machine and rubbed a bit of gilding wax over it been down to do this journal for a long time but there's always seemed to be something else to do I've had to get Christmas out of the way and um it's still wintry so I'm sort of don't feel ready to start spring journal at the moment um I have got an idea for another journal I'm going to start on this afternoon working on the cover but I'll keep that bit quiet until I see how that's going um these two pages are from okay I wish I could remember what it was called it'll come to me here I've just done a flip, um, there's some more writing space, you can write along here as well. One of these very pale blue paper, with, I don't know if the cameras pick it up, but it does have uh, little gold stars throughout it. Uh, this is the centre of the second signature. Um, some more, what do they call them, tabs or, I've just used them anyway throughout the journal. Some more of that. I love this from um, My Porch Prince. I just thought it went perfectly well with the blues, trees and moon. It's a very um, astronomy sort of journal as well. You could use it for anything, really. This I've just got, this was off um, a calendar. I think Tina sent it me last year and the pictures are too lovely. 
um, to discard. So I'm using them now um, in a lot of journals, but I just thought I had the moon and the lovely little fox. Here I've just made a little tuck spot from um, a little piece of embossing I had left over. Um, here I've just done a little tuck spot with some of the um, ephemera that's in the kit. Um, I've just made a couple of journaling cards. This is from a print. Um, and it's a Victorian artist and I can't remember who it is, but I just thought it was lovely and it went perfectly well with the journal. A uh, little journaling card I've made here with another mushroom. I don't know what it is. I'm obsessed with blue mushrooms at the moment and coloured mushrooms. Um, so I really do need to make a mushroom kit, I think, which I do love. <laughs> and uh, coming up to the end of the journal now, I've just done a little envelope, um, which I've layered up some um, cheesecloth, a bit of ribbon, and of course, another blue mushroom, a little bit of ruffle with a little um, bead thing, charm thing. And inside, I've just put a few um, journaling cards in. And of course, no journal, a Starman journal would be complete without the man himself, David Bowie. I still can't believe um, I'm living in a world where David Bowie doesn't exist. He was just always being here um, in my life as I was growing up. He was sort of one of the first musicians I really, really got into. And it just seems so very sad that he's not here now, but at least his music does stay with us. Um, another one of these Moochie ladies. And I quite love this picture. It's just the face of a lady coming out from the moon. So I didn't want to, I've put these in here because I didn't want to bulk up the journal um, and it was getting a bit bulky. So I've just put that in, put it there like that for a minute. And at the back, there's another tuck spot, which I've just got um, another journaling card in, which I ran through my embossing machine, just lined it with some tea stain paper. Um, and these tuck spots are quite handy for putting stuff in. Um, that's the back of it where this is meant to be like a moon with stars in front of it. So that is my Starman journal. Um, thank you for stopping by today and I hope you're all keeping well and coping with lockdown. Um, it's still the same for a lot of us, I guess, but um, I feel quite lucky. I did have my um, COVID vaccination on Friday because um, I'm an essential key worker Um so I, th I feel as though this is the start of getting back to a little bit of normality, hopefully. I still got to have my second one in 12 weeks, but at least I've, I've had it, had one now. So I feel sort of we're getting a little bit back to normality. Anyway, take care, everyone. Um, catch you all soon. Bye.